It's true. Guys, good afternoon. How are you? Good evening, Mr. Good afternoon. How I'm are fine. you, Zainab Hiba and Jamila? I'm fine. How about you? Okay, I'm okay. Thank you, God. I think we have to wait for your friends to come. Two minutes, maybe maximum. Because I think Ra'id is missing and his sister is missing. So let's wait for them. Maybe they will come. Uh, mister, mm -hmm. uh, the playlist that we gave us, there were no other two sessions. The last two sessions, are you sure? I accepted it. I'm a actor in magic. Okay, I'm going to check that out after finishing this class, uh, Zainab. Okay, please. If you can go to the email, if you can change the email. Repeat how to write an email. Mm -hmm. But Zainab, I published that on the uh, YouTube. You can watch the video the time that you want. No, I'm going to send you the link. Okay. Yeah, please. Yes, I'm going to send the link to the group. Let me do it now while waiting uh, for your friends. Let me connect my laptop to charging. And let me send the link about writing an email. Um, okay. Give me a minute just to enter the channel. That is it. Uh, okay. I share it now. I'm sharing the link now, uh, uh, Zainab, uh, in the group. Okay. If you can see the, you. the, okay, so this is it. Absolutely, guys, don't forget that writing the email is extremely important because I'm sure that you will write some emails in the future so please be careful okay now i think guys uh this class is going to be the last one the last class just to finish uh level three after this class uh we are going to specify maybe half an hour or maybe one hour just to correct two emails so please you still have time to write the email uh, please write it uh, because again we are going to specify a certain class just to correct you writing. Okay, so let me open the book and uh, let's uh, complete from the last point that we have previously stopped. Again, I think we have only two pages. Let's try to finish them today because I think uh, we can finish them today, maybe in one hour maybe less than that, maybe we need some minutes after just to finish them. They are not that hard, but absolutely they are important. Okay, so let me go down. I think we have finished reading uh, the uh, text about multicultural London, and we have solved the questions or the following questions. So I think now it's the time to discuss uh, the last two pages. Let me try to make zoom in just to be able to see the page clearly. Okay, there is something, guys, in English which is called synonyms and antonyms. Do you know the meaning of synonyms and antonyms? Same meaning, synonyms. Yes, exactly. Synonym, uh, if the word has the same meaning of another word, this is synonym. Antonym, you have to search for the opposite. Exactly. The opposite meaning. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jamila. So this is the meaning of synonyms and antonyms. Now, let me try to read this sentence, and we have to follow or we have to answer these questions. Now, it was hard to find work. It was also difficult to talk to people. But things got easier. Now, which words are synonyms? Hard and difficult. Oh, bravo. So this is it. We have hard and difficult are synonyms. So notice that both of them have the same meaning. 
Now, which words are antonyms, the opposites? Hard, is hard, hard and hard. easier. Hard, hard or difficult and easy. And easier. Exactly. So, difficult, easy, hard, easy. We notice that they are antonyms. Okay. Now, too much students, guys, ask me this question. Teacher, why do we have two words have the same meaning? It is enough just to have only one word and just to repeat it. Come on, it's something hard. To be honest, guys, uh, um, there is something the English language uh, hates the most, which is repetition. Avoid repetition as much as you can, not only in writing, but also in speaking. If you want to be that professional in speaking and in writing, you don't try not to repeat any word. All the time, you have to find synonyms. If you can't find synonyms, you can uh, use uh, antonyms. If you can't, we will learn how to use not very uh, plus the antonym, just again, not to repeat words, because repetition again will make uh, uh, your writing and speaking really weak. Uh, to be honest, it will be that silly. So this is the main reason uh, uh, why we have synonyms and antonyms. Okay, now let me show you an example. Uh, why, if I want to repeat uh, the same words all the time, the uh, sentences will be uh, that simple, that silly. Now notice that it's a lovely day, isn't it? Yes, it's lovely, but it wasn't very lovely yesterday, was it? No, it wasn't lovely. So notice lovely, lovely. Ah, this is a repetition. Okay, mm -hmm. so instead of uh, 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 saying lovely all the time, you can say beautiful, you can say nice. So we notice that we have some nouns and adjectives. Approximately, they have the same meaning. Why? Because you don't have to repeat the same words while speaking and writing. Okay, now let's try to solve this exercise, which is a three. Absolutely, exercise three is talking about synonyms. Now let's complete the conversation that we have with the synonym in the box here. In this box, we have some, uh, 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 um, let me say words. Absolutely, we have to know their meanings uh, because we have to uh, write the synonym that we have in this box. What is the meaning of time? A tiny sarir. Yeah, very small, exactly. What is the meaning of a clever? Um, short. Record. Yeah. Short. Ah. But try the best to tell me the meaning in English. It is a smart. Annoyed. Mm, no. Okay. What about no, it? What is it? Noisy? Someone said noisy, am I right? By the way, guys, noisy, uh, uh, the meaning of noisy is different from the meaning of annoyed. Okay, I can say upset, for example. Okay, okay. Do you know the meaning annoyed, of bo annoyed, boring? No, annoyed is upset. Do you okay. know the meaning of upset? Moses. Yes, no. Not muzaj, munzaj. Okay. Absolutely, we have a, a big difference between the meaning of these two words. Wealthy. Can you give me another synonym? This is No, this is healthy. Jamila. The meaning of healthy. Uh, okay. Ah, it's different. This okay. is healthy. So it is uh, the meaning of wealthy is to be rich. Uh, yeah, okay. to have too much money. Fit up mm -hmm. with. Fit up with is to get bored. Do you know the meaning of bored? Um, yani yes. Zahun. Exactly. Uh, uh, please. Fit up. Uh, it's uh, bored. Yeah, thank you. Fit up with uh, uh, has the same meaning of bored. Okay. Please. Please is uh, grateful. 
it is happy, uh, not happy, I can say happy. satisfied. Do you know the meaning of satisfied? Uh, yes, this is it. Okay. So I try to help you in this box. Now let's try to solve it and to find synonym in the or in these exercises. Number one is saying Jane comes from a very rich family. Willie, I knew her uncle was very wealthy. 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 Thank you. We have which. So the synonym of which is wealthy. So this is wealthy, which means which. Two. Was Sophie angry when you were late? Yeah, she was pretty. It's true. Annoyed. Uh, yes. Annoyed. Too annoyed. To be angry. It's to be upset. Annoyed. So this is number one. This is number two. Three. Jack, such an intelligent boy. Mm, he's very for it. Clever. Clever, which means smart or intelligent. So clever. Let me across a clever. This is it. The next one is saying, I've had enough for winter now. I know. I'm with all. I'm exactly. I'm fed up. Keep in mind that fed up is adjective. It is not a verb. So fed up. All the time, guys, if you want to say fed up, use it with with. Fed up okay. with all these kind of... Uh, all these sorry dark nights. So the meaning of fit up is to have enough of something or to get bored. So let me cross fit up. Five. Dave and Sarah's flat is small, isn't it? Mm, it's 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 tiny. It's tiny. The meaning of tiny is small exactly. So it's tiny. I don't know how they live in this flat. So let me cross tiny. Finally, six. Are you happy with your new car? Yes, I'm very with it. It goes really well. Pleased. 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 Exactly. Pleased, pleasant. So pleased has, or let me write it here, the same, the same meaning of happy, satisfied. So this is oh, pleased. So now I think we have to listen just to check our answers. Maybe we have a certain mistake. It is 6.9. Um, um, oh, this is unit six. Um, yeah, the final one. And this is recording nine. Tape script 6.9. Synonyms. One. Jane comes from a very rich family. Really? I knew her uncle was very wealthy. They have a house in the south of France, don't they? So, rich and wealthy. Two. Was Sophie angry when you were late? Yeah. She was pretty annoyed, it's true. She shouted for a bit. Then she calmed down. So, angry, annoyed. Three. Jack's such an intelligent boy. Hmm. He's very clever for a 10-year-old. He has some interesting things to say as well. So, intelligent and clever. Four. I've had enough of winter now. I know. I'm fed up with all these dark nights. I need some sunshine. So, have enough and fit up. Five. With... Dave and Sarah's flat is small, isn't it? Mmm, it's tiny. I don't know how they live there. It's only big enough for one person. So small and tiny. Six. Are you happy with your new car? Yes, I'm very pleased with it. It goes really well. And it's much more reliable than my old one. So happy and pleased. So notice that instead of repeating happy in the answer, I said the please. Instead of saying uh, small, I said tiny. Instead of saying having enough, I said fit up with and till the end of the synonym, uh, the synonym. So please, guys, try the best while using the English language to avoid repetition because repetition is the worst you can do again, not only in writing, but also 
in speaking. Okay. Now, let's try to do it ourselves. And we have to think about uh, uh, another word for these adjectives. What do you think about good looking? Beautiful. What is it? Beautiful. Uh, beautiful, yes. Beautiful is correct. Exactly. A pretty is correct. What about no? Viral. Viral. Do you have another meaning? What is it? Tagreed? Uh, Either or faster, I don't know. Uh, it's sure we have recent. Recent. Okay, recent. Okay, modern. Recent. Modern. Yeah, I modern. think modern is better. Modern. Mm -hmm. Or I can say updated. Updated is acceptable if you want to use this adjective. Okay, what about amazing? Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful, fabulous. Uh, uh, um, we have too much adjectives for amazing. Lovely, for example, old. Ancient. Yeah, thank you, Jamila. Ancient. Ancient is very old. This is ancient. Or downdated. Okay, a crazy. Full. Full. Um, okay. I think full is the uh, antonym of a smart. Okay. If I want to say someone is a crazy. Without a brain. <laughs> no, come on. Huh? Not, not literal. Mad. Mad is okay, but not without a brain. This is not literal, literal meaning. Okay, Jamila. Uh, okay. Awful. Awful. Okay. Yeah. Awful, yani. mm. Bad. It's something bad. Okay, bad is acceptable. Horrible. Horrible. Thank you. Terrible. Horrible. Terrible. Yeah. So terrible or horrible. Amazing. I loved it. So terrible is acceptable. Horrible. Bad. Disgusting. Okay. Um, what about big? Enormous. Huge. Huge. Yes, a huge is acceptable. A huge means very big. This is large. Huge. Large. Thank you, Tagreed. Large. Exactly. Large is correct. Large is more acceptable. Why? Because a huge sometimes is very big. Cold. Please. Freezing. Amazing. Freezing, yes. Yes, What did you say, Tadri? Chili. Ah, chili. Ah, is it, it's correct. Yes, I love it. Chili. Ah, if you want to say, um, 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 for example, about the chili, is it's like shaking. We can say that shaking out of cold. Oh, okay. So, this is it. These are the best uh, synonyms about these adjectives. So, let me go down now and let's complete talking about antonyms. Okay, sometimes, guys, if I want to find the opposite meaning of a certain word, sometimes I fail to do it. Absolutely, I fail to do it because I don't have that much vocabularies or many vocabularies. If it is so, it is easy for you to use not very plus the antonym. Let's take a look at this example. Notice that Tom's, Tom is, so messy. Now, if you don't know the opposite of messy, absolutely the opposite of messy, uh, 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 or the synonym. Yeah, this is it. Yes, teenagers aren't very tidy. So the meaning of are not very tidy, what? Messy. Messy. That is it. So aren't they? So this is the antonyms. Mm. And we can agree with people by using what not. Very plus the antonym.
So again, I can use this scale just to avoid repetition. Okay, now let's try to think about a word. Uh, this word uh, uh, means the opposite of these adjectives that we have here. Let me go down a little bit just to be able to see them clearly. Absolutely, the opposite of easy is difficult. What is the opposite of noisy? Uh, quiet. Quiet. Amazing. I loved it. Quiet or quiet? A lot quiet. Quiet. Uh, quiet. Oh. What? what about miserable? Happy. Yes, Happy or... absolutely miserable without or hope. Stable. Or what? Or optimistic. Stable. Just stable. Yes, because um, miserable and no, and no few problems. Stable and no la, a few uh, problems. What is the meaning of miserable in Arabic? Boasa, hekshi. Bravo. Yes, exactly. Without hope. So the best antonym of miserable is happy. Yeah, hopeful. Exactly. I can say hopeful. Mm, hopeful is acceptable. Polite. Impolite. Impolite. Exactly. I can say impolite. What else? Disrespectful. Yeah. I thank you, Tavrid. Disrespectful. So impolite. Sorry, what's this? impolite or disrespectful yeah disrespectful is completely acceptable the opposite la is miserable hada al kalma ghair happy shu kanet which one miserable yes we can say hopeful what hopeful awful it's a uh, uh, miserable Hopeful. Do you know the meaning of hopeful? Yes. No. Hopeful is acceptable for the opposite of uh, 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 miserable. Okay, hopeful yeah. is uh, happy? Yeah, hopeful. Full of hope. Okay, okay, what? thank you. Uh, what is the opposite of hopeful? Hopeless. Do you know the meaning of hopeless? Yeah, this is it. Okay, this is uh, suffixes. We can we will talk about this absolutely in level four. Level four is full of suffixes, and it is the time to learn uh, suffixes like polite, impolite. Notice that I wrote this is a prefix. This is called the prefix. Okay. Now, what is the opposite of naughty? Good or mm. proper. Okay, good is acceptable. What about well behaved? Naughty is yes. ah, not behaved very well. So well behaved is antonym of naughty. So well behaved. This is the this is E, this is D. Behave yourself. Okay, exciting. Unenthusiastic. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you, Tagrid. Unenthusiastic. Eh, hey, okay, it's acceptable. What else? Can you give me another antonym? Born, moment. Boring, thank you so much. Boring. Yes, boring. It is a good adjective. Now, clever. Fool. Fool or stupid. Yes, fool. Stupid. Fool. Exactly. Fool is acceptable. And absolutely stupid is acceptable. Okay. Stupid. Now, what about the clean? Dirty. 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 Yes, dirty. Okay. So please, guys, again, if you fail to find the synonym, it is easy to use antonym plus what plus not. 
this is a good skill you can adopt while speaking and writing because guys absolutely in speaking and writing you don't have to repeat sometimes i cannot find the synonym of a certain word if you can't it is easy for you to use antonym a plus not to have the synonym of the word okay so this is it and i think now uh, we have to listen to the recording uh, just to check uh, if these uh, um, um, antonyms are correct. Absolutely, we don't have to adopt only one meaning. For example, don't all the time say the antonym of clever is fool. You can say stupid. Okay, so let's listen. And I think now we have to listen and compare the answers. These are the uh, the sentences the speaker is going to say. So the man was so rude to me. So notice that the speaker is going to say, yes, he wasn't very polite. So we notice that polite, we said here, what impolite? Impolite is correct. And uh, it is easy to use a prefix sometimes to make the opposite meaning like possible, impossible, polite, impolite, complete, incomplete. Uh, but uh, uh, here, because we have antonyms, sometimes I have to uh, find the completely different word so we notice that polite the opposite is rude again impolite is completely correct i don't say that it is wrong absolutely it isn't okay so we said the stupid and absolutely stupid is the antonym of what clever we said dirty and absolutely uh, dirty is the opposite or the antonym of uh, uh, clean okay Boring, someone said boring, and we can say that boring is the antonym of exciting. By the way, let's listen and let's compare our answers. It is 6.10. Let me play the recording and let's start. Tape script 6.10. Antonyms. One. Wait, let me go up a little bit just to match my answers. Uh, yeah, okay. So, number one is... That man was so rude to me. Yes, he wasn't very polite, was he? Now, two. Two. Some people are so stupid. Well, not everyone's as clever as you. So, not everyone as clever as you. Now... Three. Three. Dave's flat is always so dirty. Mm, it isn't very clean, is it? So it isn't very clean. I use not plus antonym to have the synonym. Now four. Four. His wife always looks so miserable. Yeah, she never looks very happy, does she? So she never looks very happy. This is the antonym of miserable. Now five. Five. Their children are so naughty. Yes, they aren't very well behaved, are they? So well behaved is the antonym of naughty. Now the final one, which is six, is saying this is it. Six. This lesson is boring. True. It isn't very interesting. I can't wait for it to end. So thank you so much. Interesting, exciting, absolutely I can say boring. So these are the antonyms. And we noticed that in this exercise, all the uh, people who were speaking, they said not uh, plus the antonym just to find the synonym. So please, you have to apply this skill again, just to avoid repetition. Guys, we have exams like TOEFL exams, IELTS, Duolingo, PTE, SAT exams. All these exams are international uh, exams for the English language. And in all these exams, one thing you have to avoid in speaking and in writing, which is repetition. Avoid repetition as much as you can because you will be weak if you want to repeat the same word or the same, uh, yes, the same word all the time. Okay, 
I think now this is the final page uh, of uh, level three and all level three course will be finished. Okay, we have this page and I think I'm going to split my screen into two just to be able to read the information that we have here in the second page. And we have to answer the following questions. But let me adjust the page just to be suitable, just to be able to see it clearly. And absolutely, I have to show you the uh, um, um, the questions. So I want to just drag this. Okay. So let me try to make it a little bigger. And I have to make a little zoom in. Exactly, yes. Okay. And I have to open the book twice just to be able to see the questions. Um, this is the book. That says it. Let me open it in a different application. And let's read the questions. And we have to answer them. So let me drag this page. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so I have to go down to the far east down, I think at the end. Okay, now we have some questions we need to solve. Now it is about every day. Let me erase my screen. It is about every day English. Now what's on? Okay, now after guys uh, solving the questions, we have to know the meaning of what's on. Okay, so question number one. How much is it to go in the British Museum? We notice that this is the British Museum. Now, please, I need you to read all the information about the British Museum and answer the question, which is saying, how much is it to go in the British Museum? It's free. Thank you, Zainab. It is completely free. This is it. So I have to say it is free. Thank you so much. So this is the answer of question number one. It is free. Question two. Is the Van Gogh exhibition open on Sunday? This is Van Gogh or Van Gogh in certain cultures. Now we have to check if the Van Gogh exception open on Sunday or maybe no. Let me try. Yes, oh, this is today. it. It is. Thank you. This is it. Okay, so this is it. The real Van Gogh. It is daily because it is daily. Absolutely. It is open on Sunday. Thank you so much. So I have to say, yes, it is. Exception. Do you know the meaning, guys, of exception? It is a place where I can show some pictures, some things. Um, like, uh, yes, it is. Okay. Now, question three. How many nights is the concert, a musical party, for example, on the Royal Festival Hall? This is the Royal Festival Hall, I think I have to go down just to answer the question. How many nights is the concert on at the Royal Festival Hall? Thursday for TH only, 7.13 p.m. Ah, and how many, so how many nights? One night. Uh, one, uh, one or two? Two. Thursday and ah Thursday. What is the meaning of Thursday? What do you want? Thursday. Ah, this fourth, is it. Yes. Fourth, fourth the fourth. On exactly. And only at seven and a half p.m. So 
only one night. One light, one night only. One night, absolutely only. One night only, or one night weekly. Okay, so this is it, question number three. Now for what film is suitable for young children? Now let me uh, um, uh, go back to the films because, ah, this is films. These are the films that we have, guys, films. And I need you to check the best film for kids or for children. The survivor, survivor. The survivors, can 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 the children? No, no, my favorite uh, fairy. Ah uh, yes, uh, dolls and toys. My favorite fairy. Yeah, we have dolls. Because Thank dolls you, and, and toys come alive in a girl's bedroom. Exactly. I absolutely. We cannot let the children watch something about fights uh, or nuclear wars to destroy the world, and we cannot. Uh, let the children watch violence, murder, for example, or drugs uh, in the New York crime gang. So this is it. It is my favorite fairy. This is the film, the name of the film that the children can watch or which is suitable for the children. Teacher, she is suitable. Suitable is uh, uh, acceptable. Mulaam or munasib. Okay. Now, the final question is saying, is the Phantom of the Opera popular? How do you know? Now, let me try to search about the Phantom of Opera just to try to check. And um, uh, this is it, the Phantom. Let me erase my board. This is it, the Phantom of the Opera. Is it popular? How did you know that it is popular? Yes, it is popular. How did you know? Uh, because I'm in Arad Akhtar Man Mara with ticket Ghali. You come in opening all the week. Ah, opening all. Oh, exactly. Amazing. Yeah, this is it. Monday, Saturday, 7 and half p.m. Tuesday and Saturday, matinee. Two and half p.m. and it costs uh, twenty pounds, fifty-five pounds runs for two hours and three minutes. Booking recommended. You have to book your place. And the musical in the twenty-fourth year, a heartbreaking story of love. So this is why uh, we have to know that it is really popular. Okay. Okay. So this is it about the exhibition and what's on. What is on on that exhibition or something like that. We have another word, guys. We have to listen to it and we have to know their meanings. What's on and what's... Absolutely, we have to listen. So let's listen to the final exercise and let's fill the blanks. Finally, we have to know the meaning of what's on. We have a word, guys. If you sometimes, if you are, if you, if you, if you watch.